Hey, good rising, great awakenings. I'm still getting set up here. Should be able to see the chimes. Great Awakenings, I'm still getting set up. I want you to be able to see the chimes a little bit. still there? Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, you can see some of them. Let's see. Just trying to get the perfect angle. All right. Well, anyway. Okay. I'm going to um, play the singing bowl for a few minutes so we get started. I'm sorry about the strange lighting. I guess everything happens for a reason. Okay. So this is a singing bowl to the tone of the uh, root chakra. And I'm just going to warm up while more people um, tune in. Greetings, Ubin Nafrani Hast. Good rising and great awakenings. Welcome to Light Beam Wellness Center, Kimitone's Cosmic Sound Healing. Live transmission for the new moon and sidereal cancer and Sirius rising. And if you were able to check out the little uh, video I posted a minute ago, it has the chart that we'll be using for this rising. And this system, Hyperoscopes, uses the 13-month comedic sidereal, sidereal uh, system, which means that it's different from the Western system that we're used to. The Western system is based on the Earth's motion around the sun, and then they divided each section into, they divided the orbit into 12 sections and named each section after a constellation However, it does not reflect the true motion of the sun and the planets through the constellations. And if you want more information on that, you can download the um, Hydroscope's ebook, the Hans Handbook and Resource Guide, or uh, catch up with some of my other videos. So the new moon occurs today, August 8th, at 8.50 a.m. Central Time. 
and 13 is my lucky number so I'm excited about this because I'm in the central time zone and I know that in other circles this is called Lion's Gate because they say the Sun is in Leo however in reality based on the procession of the equinox and the um, Nassau ephemeris the Sun and the moon, ooh, that's too close to the microphone, are in sidereal cancer. And then I've added the tone for Anpu, the opener of the ways. Anpu is associated with the great doll constellation, the star Sirius. And the star Sirius is connected to Isis and Aset, the divine intuition. So in this system we have the sun and the moon rising with Sirius. At this time of year the sun and Sirius rise together. That's why it's called the heliacal rising of Sirius. And it's why it's called the dog days of summer. Uh, before climate change this used to be the hottest time of the year in most regions. Um, I don't know what's going on now. Um, but and then in the um, Dogon culture in Mali, this is a time of great celebration. In Kemet, this is a time of great celebration. It's when the Nile River began to flood again. And actually, they say that Sirius rises over a different location every day, starting around July 23rd through August 12th or the 17th. And so, even though people call this this time of Leo, it's actually the time of Capita, the time of Cancer, which is associated with family, and then Capita in the Kemetic tradition is associated with transformation and creativity, the creator. Ra, the creator, has three aspects, Kep Capita, which is the actual creator, Ra, which is the middle of the day, Capita is the beginning of the day, Ra is the middle of the day, and Ra Tem or Temu Ra is at sunset, the end of the day. So Kepita represents the creative force at the beginning of the day. And where I am right now, it's it's um, the dawn. So um, this is perfect time. Now in Sidereal Leo, we do have Mercury, Mars, and Venus in Sidereal Leo, which is known as Sekhmet in this tradition. So I'm going to take a little bit of time to talk about what all this means. How long have I been talking? My browser has not, has lost connection to my mic. Hmm. My browser has lost connection to my mic. Uh, other applications may be using. Okay, hold on a second. It says I got too much stuff going on here. Is this still on? Check, 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 check. Okay, I don't know why it's telling me this. I don't have my glasses. Audio. Audio. Check, check, check. Hmm. Check, check, check. Testing. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was cute. Okay. Well, looks like it's still working. Okay, I'm going to keep going. <laughs> all right. So, what does all of this mean? Okay, like I mentioned before, Kepra is for family and transformation. And I'm born under the sign of Kepra, even though in the Western system it will be Leo. So I feel that my purpose is about doing music and sound healing and wellness that brings about transformation in my family and in the universal family. Uh, you know, eliminating blocks in communication, learning more about relationships. So this transmission is about eliminating blocks 
in communicating with family. If you know my story, you know one of my children hasn't spoken to me in 11 years, or is it 12 years? I can't even remember. So, um, and then the sun is also in the sign of Capricorn with the new moon. So that's the time to use our creative forces to help bring about the transformation for our families. So that could mean, um, you know, offering poetry for your family, doing artwork, or doing artwork about family, whatever, however that would be expressed for you. And then I also added the tone for Anpu, the opener of the ways associated with the great dog. And so we want to eliminate any obstacles and blocks to healing our family, um, being creative with our family using our creativity to help bring about transformation and healing for our family. Also, the new moon is associated with Shasheta, the cosmic scribe, the goddess that records um, everything, records all of Jehuti's spells and teachings and all the writings. And so we can write our intentions at the new moon, we can write our abundance checks for prosperity, so we will be doing that for our family, that we have increased abundance and prosperity for our family. That our creativity is able to eliminate obstacles and blocks for our family. Oh, there I hear the speaker again. And, um, yep. Yeah. And then also in the sign of Sekhem, or Sekhmet, which is the, the life force energy, the power of the life force energy, the Kundalini energy that rises... Um, and falls in our, um, you know, in our um, our spinal column, you know, through the chakras and everything. So we want to have um, increased communication, and we have Mars and Venus. We have Mercury, Mars, and Venus in the sign of Sekhmet. And if you know the story of Sekhmet, you know that she was sent to Earth as Het to eliminate the unrighteous and she liked her job so much that she began killing the righteous and the unrighteous and it was the wisdom of Lord Jehuti that brought her back to her divinity to remember who she is and um, you know reclaim her rightful mindset and heart set and with Mars being in this sign that means our 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 um, our focus, our will, our intent, our passion is all directed towards remembering our divinity and um, our cosmic divine intelligence and uh, communicating that, communicating our purified heart, our unified mind. We're not in the ego mind, we're in our, our mind and the heart, our thoughts, our brain and the heart, remaining centered in the oneness and um, bringing all that forward for transformation for our family. So that is the intent of this transmission and of the series rising and the alignment with our creativity and the elimination of our egoism or at least the control. And then also another aspect we have Mars and Venus in Sekhmet that deals with the harmonization and the oneness of our inner male and female. Um, and that's been coming up a lot for me recently, just being more aware of my inner masculine and that of my partner, the inner feminine of my partner, and how they interact, how, um, the, how males may be threatened by the inner masculine of women and how the inner feminine of males may um, feel the need to outshine the feminine, the natural female. There's so many ways of looking at this. Um, and I'm not saying I have all the answers, although I do feel like I'm onto something. And that, you know, we're going to have the opportunity to be more mindful, to learn more about the uh, interaction between the divine masculine feminine and the balancing of our inner feminine inner masculine and how we relate 
to the inner female and inner masculine of others and how this could lead to the imbalance in the world and um, you know the need to be politi politically correct we're not able to be spiritually correct and acknowledge that a lot of what's going on in the world with you know sex trafficking, pedophilia um, people not loving themselves the way they're born and taking drugs and having surgery to change their outer appearance to match how they feel on the inside and if we could just focus on balancing and harmonizing those energies because balance doesn't always mean 50-50 some days your inner female may be dominant and strong and some days your inner masculine may be dominant and strong some days they may be you know about the same but these are the things that we need to um, start working with and, and being more mindful on how we express okay so that is enough of the discussion and now I will start with the transmission dealing with the new moon on food for the great dog constellation of Sears rising Ra the sun and then also Sekhmet the constellation of Leo Mercury Mars and Venus are in Sekhmet and the sun and the moon are in sidereal cancer and you can refer to the chart that I posted uh, I forgot to post it on the YouTube I'll post it after the transmission and if you have any questions you can type them in now I'm not sure if I'll see them until the end I'm gonna move this one over because it's kind of close to the microphone okay there we go right. Capital Oh So Shetta The shadow Oh Oh Segment Oh. 
rising, helical rising, take us around the spiral, advance us upward, and not repeating where we were this time last year. We may be moving constantly forward and upward and inward and radiate outward. Our inner peace, our inner balance, our harmony, our abundance, our love and protection. And radiate outward. Hatep Aho Namaste Wado. And so it is. Thank you for joining me today. I'm seeing if there's any comments. Just a bunch of waves, so I'm waving back to you. Thank you for joining me. What about over here? Waves. Okay, sending love and waves to you. Hatchap.